Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I am doing my boxy charm unboxing slash review slash tutorial for all of you. If you're new to my channel, my name is Candace. I do beauty, fashion, luxury, occasionally food, lifestyle, and travel videos. If you are not new and you're back again, welcome back. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for continuing to stick around and watching my videos. To those who are new, hope you stick around, subscribe, and check out my other videos that I will have coming in the future. Without further ado, let's hop into the unboxing. So for this box, the box that I got, there are five items. One skincare product, three beauty makeup things. So I'll show you the moisturizer first. I got the Glam Glow Moisture Trip, a mega rich moisturizer. You apply it evenly to clean face and neck morning or night. It's part of your usual skincare regimen. I love the packaging. It looks super luxe. This is my first time trying Glam Glow anything. I love the color of that. Probably can't even see it because of the glare. There's a star at the top. And it is 1.7 ounces, 50 milliliters, if you care about that. And it does have a seal, so your product won't spill into the lid, so that's nice. It's not super thick, I will say that, but it is pretty hydrating. I see the sheen it leaves behind on my skin, and I do love my moisturizer to do that, because it usually means I won't have those dry spots on my face like I normally do. It has a nice fresh scent, so there's no fragrance to it. I'm excited to give this a try. Usually, when things say mega rich, I'm expecting a really thick texture. I love thicker texture moisturizer, but it is nice to have a thinner one like this that still provides the hydration. So I'm excited to try this and see. I'm currently using another moisturizer now, so I don't want to start using this, but I will soon. Okay, the next thing I got were brushes. These are from Morphe. This is their I Got This four piece eye brush collection. It comes in this set, looks like this. It's empty because I took the brushes out, but it comes with four brushes. Two of them are contour and blending brushes. There's a fluffier, fluffier one. I did use these so they're dirty. This is one of the brushes. This one's a bit fluffy and bigger. And then this one's a little more tapered and skinnier. There's also like a small flat brush that's very stiff. And then there's this, I forgot what you call this. This is basically an angled brush. You could use it for your lower lash line, for your brows, for eyeliner. No particular way you can use all of these. You can even use this flat one for concealer if you want it. You can even use, don't really recommend it because it's not synthetic hair. This for concealer, I wouldn't because you would stain it as white and then it's not, like I said, synthetic. So I would st strictly use these on my eyes. This one you might could get by and do highlight as well and have it perform well, but those are the brushes. The next two things I'm gonna show you, I'm not excited about at all because they are not appropriate for my skin. The first of those products is the Real Her I Am Inspiring Definer Brow Pencil. It comes in a package like this. I'm very usually unimpressed by universal brow products because they usually don't work for my dark hair. Well, my hair's not dark, but my brow hair is. I'm gonna throw this in a giveaway, but it's a very light ash tone color, like I showed you guys in the box last month. There's a slim chance that this works. I just don't want to swatch it and have it not work and then I'm stuck with it. So I'm going to throw it in the giveaway. But it is certified, cruelty free, paraben free, waterproof, and vegan. It says that on the package. This is going in a future giveaway. I have a giveaway. I actually have a giveaway area over here. Y'all can't see it, but it's going over there. Next product that's going in the giveaway is the Aesthetica Aesthetica Sunset Bronzer. It comes in a gold box. And then inside, it comes in this little protective thing, whatever you call it. And it comes in a black and gold compact. Coolest part about it is a bronzer with a mirror. I don't think I have any bronzers with mirrors, so that part is really cool. And then the actual color is here. And looking at the color, you can see why I'm not excited about it. It looks like my skin. You know, it's not a bronzer at all for my skin complexion. So this is also going in a giveaway. Cannot tell you about performance because there's no way I can use it. So I'm putting this in a giveaway as well. Yeah, it's definitely a natural looking tan. Says that's what it's gonna give you. It won't give me one though, because I'm giving it away. By the way, I should start telling you all this. The moisturizer itself retails for 54 bucks. So you've already paid for the box with that. Then the brush set retails for 12 bucks. The bronzer, $24. And then the brow pencil, $16. The next thing I'm gonna show you, which is this Butter London Teddy Boy nine piece eyeshadow palette. Comes in a box like this. This retails for $28. So even that pays for the box. I think the box is $25. Yeah. So you have basically, I'm trying to do math in my head, 82, 94, 94, 118, 134. 
So basically this box, $134 worth of products for $25, so it's a great deal. They're always usually a great deal. But let's show you the palette. This is the box, one in the trash. This is the palette. I thought the packaging was pretty cool. It has your butter lumping down here on the teddy boy. And then it flips open. Good look. Looking good, darling. And then it has a mirror on the other side. And then so let's take that off so you can see the colors. That's what it looks like. So it's a really nice palette of colors. And I like the fact that you can turn it sideways and use your mirror. Go straight in your palette and use the mirror. Now this is a palette of neutrals. Y'all know neutrals are not what I gravitate towards, but this is a really nice neutrals palette. The colors are actually like butter. They blend like butter. They're so smooth. I didn't have any problems with blending at all with these. It's a really nice palette. So this by itself, honestly, I would say is worth the price of the box. And then moisturizer, you could basically get two of those. Basically you can get, what I was trying to say, you get one and pay for two boxes because it's worth $54. So yeah, of course, I use things from the box for this look. Mine is the bronzer and brow product. As I mentioned, those do not work for me, so I use two totally different things for that. If you guys would like to see the look, keep watching. Starting off by hydrating my lips. This is from Burst Bees. It's their lavender honey lip butter. The packaging looks like this, but whoa. My lips are always dry before videos, so y'all should be used to this. <laughs> and I put quite a bit on. It's kind of allow time for my lips to soak it all in before I put a lip color. I've already done my brows. The brow product is in the kit or the box isn't actually appropriate for my brow color. So I use something totally different. In case you're curious, I used the NYX Fill and Fluff Espresso Brow Pencil. It looks like this. No primers in the box. You can take any that you have. I'm using the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. The eye brushes I'll be using today are from the box. These are the Morphe I Got This four piece eye brush collection. They look like this. So you have your flat brush, you have your blender brushes, and your ankle brush in case you want to do liner. Or you can use it for your brows too if you want it. So I'm actually going to start off with the fluffy one, the white one. Now, I recommend you wash these before using them. I normally do, I just get lazy. So if you have sensitive skin, wash them. It's an old new note, so I'm going to trust that they're clean. So as you know, they have an eye palette in the box, or in my box. This is the Butter London Teddy Boy 9 piece eyeshadow palette. It comes in a box like this. And then here is the actual palette. It flips open on both sides. That's your clear insert. And then it has a mirror on that side. And the color I'm taking in the crease is the Simon color here. It's a cool, wait, this. It's a cool brown. I'm just gonna hold a palette like this so I can look in the mirror sideways. Okay, that color's not really showing up like I would want it to. It is, but barely. I guess it's showing up enough. I'm gonna go over that with this color called Freddy. This is like a matte bluish gray or grayish blue. I'm taking this kind of more so directly into the crease, not too high or up like I did the other color. I'm gonna slightly blend it up. Above all of that, same brush, dusting it off. I'm taking Nigel, which is the matte color. There's light in the palette, this one. There's a shimmer one too, if you prefer shimmers, up to you. Going back with Freddie. On the center lid, I'm taking this color called Mick. It's the shimmery, navy color. Taking the flat brush that came in the set and packing this on the center of my lid. It's like a silverish blue color when you apply it. It is gorgeous. I really like it. Putting that aside, I'm taking the other fluffy blending brush and I'm taking Rupert. I'm not sure where you got these names from. I guess I'm pronouncing it right. It's this matte. It looks like a navy. This is going on the outer V. I'm 
I'm not trying to bring that color too high up. Okay, I'm going back into that crease to make sure everything's blended with Freddie. In that inner corner, I'm just going to attempt to take this. I better not do that. I'll save that for the bottom. I'm taking this flat brush again, the only flat one in the set. I'm really cleaning it off because I'm using a lighter color there. And the color I'm using is called Billy. It seems like a, a muted shimmery bronze. I guess we'll see when I apply it. This is literally, this is my first time using this palette. So I'm going strictly based off appearance until I actually apply it to tell you how it is. But I'm taking this on the inner corner. I'm kind of sweeping it around here. So it's a lighter bronze. Why do you keep doing this? Hopefully it wasn't doing that for any other portions of the video. And I am bringing this around. I'm taking that center color, the mix again, and I'm kind of merging those two together. Now I'm gonna do the bottom. I haven't really thought that far yet. Let's see what I'm gonna use. There are no eyeliners in the box. That's a fact. I think I'm gonna use a royal blue. I think that would really help everything pop nicely. So the color I'm taking is Revlon So Fierce the Vinyl Eyeliner. This color is called Royal Rules. These are actually really good. Really great eyeliner option from the drugstore. If you are looking for eyeliners, they're very creamy, smooth, just buttery and pigmented. All the colors I've used have been really nice. So I'm taking this on the waterline first. I'm gonna continue on the bottom. I just like to see how it looks first before I do both. But I think it's a really nice look. And as usual, I'm stopping the side that inner corner. Look how pretty that is. It is gorgeous. I love it so much. I think I'm going to set this, although it's not 100% necessary, but because it's so creamy, there's a possibility of it budging, so you really want to be careful. I'm just going to take a similar shade. Use anything you have. I'm using what I have. I'm just using that flat brush again. This is really old. This is Pow Bam Wow or Pow Bow Wow, I think. This is from Facefront Cosmetics. If y'all are from the old school like I am on here, you know what this is and what brand this is. They're not around anymore. Hopefully this doesn't mess up the color because it's not that close. I should have gotten something closer than what I used, but we'll see how this works. Yeah, this is good enough. Just taking a little bit of that. I'm not taking much to make a difference in appearance. It's just to set eyeliner. But the eyeliner basically sets anyway, so. Like I said, it's not always necessary. Just that brush off, I'm taking Billy, which is the bronze I used at the top. I'm just making sure everything's blended at the bottom. And for a little lighter pop of brightness, I'm taking this color called Archie. You probably can't see the shimmer on camera, but it's a really shimmery ivory beige color. I'm going over that bottom to lighten it up even more. For the top, I think for sure I'm going to do black. I'm taking the NYX liquid eyeliner in black. Perfect eyeliner today. Okay, I might have to touch up later, so I'm gonna just put this to the side. For the bottom, I'm gonna take concealer. I normally mix two whenever I use the light one. This is ColourPop No Filter Concealer in Medium Dark and Nars. Radiant Creamy Concealer in Chocolate. Okay, I'm gonna do mascara. There are none in the box. So, I'm gonna take what I have already. Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Major Volume Mascara. I'm gonna do lashes. And for those, I'm just gonna use these from Stardell Lash. These are the SF113s. These are just what I have here, so yeah. Now these aren't super dramatic, so if you want a more dramatic lash, lash, use something different. 
I don't want to do too dramatic this time because I feel like I do that a lot and occasionally I like to have breaks. I'm gonna go back with my eyeliner. I think that side will be good when it dries. I don't think I need to add more. I'm gonna do foundation. Mix in my two usuals. Sarka Color Balance Liquid Foundation in number eight and NARS. Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation in Marquises. Take one pump of the lighter one and then two of the natural radiant foundation. Now mix them together. And take a little extra in the areas where you need it. Taking my NARS or mix HD finishing powder to set underneath my eyes and also the areas that tend to get a lot of moisture. So that'll be your T-zone if you have that issue. This really helps like, like prevent creasing and stuff. It is not too pricey. I like to go around my mouth too because that's where I put extra coverage usually. There's also a bronzer in the set. It's way too light for me. I showed it to you earlier. So I'm not going to go there. I'm going to use a, a bronzer that I know that works for my skin complexion. And that is the MAC Skin Finish Natural, or Mineralized Skin Finish Natural and Sun Power. This definitely works for me. This is a MAC 109. God, I have a piece of hair. I feel it. Bring that in. I'm going up and around my temples and hairline. I'm actually taking a color in the palette, Archie, which is that shimmery, lighter color I showed you. I need a smaller brush. This is not going to work. I'm going to take a fan brush. It's thinner. I'm being very careful not to touch those other colors. That's so pretty in two bones like that. You could even use a, even like a skinny, tiny brush. I'm just trying not to dirt up a lot of brushes. And this one's kind of already used. Oh, this is so pretty. Next time I will use a small one because it's time consuming trying to get this brush in there. No blushes in the box either. I'm taking this one from Clean Color. It's the Sun Baked Blush. I'm just taking a small hint on the cheek, directly on the cheeks. For lips, I know I want a straight nude. I think that would look the best with this look. So that's what I'm gonna do. What I have here is the Carity Lip Lock in the shade Sugary Sweet. It looks like this. Before I do that, I'm taking a lip pencil. This is MAC Stone. I am gonna sharpen this. And I'm also going to get that excess film product off my lip that I put on earlier. I am gonna fill all the way in. I actually really like this on its own. Let me find something similar to this. I don't think I'm gonna do that lip color at all now. I don't know what I have that's close to this. I have quite a bit of lip color, so I'm sure I can find something. Technically, like I just wear the lip pencil, but I feel like it'll be really dry if I do that. So I really want this lip color, and I have nothing like it. I'm actually shocked. I have hundreds of lip colors, and I have nothing like this. Nothing even comes close, like literally nothing. And I do not want it shiny. That's another issue. I have glosses that are similar, lipsticks that are similar, but I don't want to shine. So because I want my lips drying out, I'm gonna take a light smidge of lip balm on top. This is actually Be Great Hemp Lip Defense, and it's their mint flavor. So it's like a CBD lip balm product. I'm not taking much of this at all. I'm taking the slightest amount because it goes a long way. I'm gonna on top. See, I don't like that because it took some of the color off. That's why I went to find a lip color. It didn't take it all off. I'm gonna go back in with stone because it took some of my lip color away. I didn't want that. It's still doing it. Okay, it's filling in. That's my a lot of work to keep a lip color. Somebody needs to find a lipstick similar to stone and lip pencil. Seriously. I don't know. I just feel really weird. I could have sworn I had something close to this. I think they even had a stone lipstick. I really think they had a stone lipstick. Really hope you guys loved my tutorial and my review unboxing video. Overall, 
It's a great box. I honestly didn't expect to like the Butter London palette as much as I did. The colors were super creamy and to say they're neutrals, I really love it. I love this color combination. And it's a great neutrals palette to travel with as well because it has that built-in mirror and great for work any other place where you would need a natural look. Disappointed with a brow product. Brow products aren't really universal. To be honest with you, there's no one color I've seen that works with all brown hair colors and all skin complexions. So I'm not really surprised that that didn't work. Same with bronzers. Those are hit or miss as well because especially those like me with a darker skin complexion. Having a bronzer like this, I mean, that's a possibility it works, but there's a slim chance it works because it's so light and it looks so similar to my skin tone. If I can get it open again, hey look. This is actually lighter than my skin complexion, so I know it would work. There's no way. Good thing about it, it does have a built-in mirror. So if you are, I would say, honestly, fair to light medium, to medium, maybe. On medium skin tone, this might be a natural bronzer, but don't expect it to be like a bronzer, like a contour type of product, because it's not dark at all. Because of that, I'm throwing this into a giveaway, because I do think, you know, the product itself is a great idea. It's Sunset Bronzer, by the way. In fact, I think I told you all that earlier in the video, but it's just not anything to be excited about, I guess. It's, I don't know. The brushes are nice. I do like the brushes. I love the contour brushes. I can never get enough of those. The flat brush is kind of, you know, you could, I mean, flat brushes are pretty easy to come by. So are angled brushes like this. But the contouring brushes are really nice. They really blended out the colors nicely. The flat brush is good too. They all go together. It's a nice little set to travel with. Again, the moisturizer is really nice. I have dry skin. So anything moisture, anything that says moisture on it, outside of the moisturizer, it usually works for my skin. Has a nice, pleasant, fresh scent as well. I think that's all, right? It's only five products. Yeah, please rate the video, subscribe to my channel, turn on your post notifications. I will have a link below for you where you can subscribe to Monster Charm. And yeah, talk to you guys soon. Thank you for watching.